Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, May 20, 2024. May God be with you today and may his peace and his favor be on your life. And I pray that as you go throughout the day that you will experience the power of the Holy Spirit in you. I pray that God will pour out his blessing upon you and your family and may he give you protection and may he keep you and provide for you today. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Chronicles chapter 22, reading verse 13. It says, Then shalt thou prosper, if thou takest heed to fulfill the status and judgment which the Lord charged Moses concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage, dread not, nor be dismayed. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words and what we can take from the reading this morning is that God bless those who cherish his principles. So he said that he'll prosper us when we take heed to fulfill his status and his judgment. So let's consider something for a moment. As it relates to Solomon, considering the responsibilities that he had and the mistakes that he made along the way. Do you believe that God made a mistake in empowering him with these responsibilities? And as I said, considering the fact how he started and then how he handled it. Something to think about. Now, I would respond to you by telling you that God did not make a mistake. No, he did not. So, what am I saying here? When God gives responsibilities like these, when God places us in positions of authority and leadership or any kind of position, He expects us to be faithful and He expects us to follow His principles and not our own. And He says that as long as we adhere to the principles that He has laid down, as long as we keep his word and as long as we are obedient that he will bless us that he will prosper us so the condition to receive the prosperity and the, the blessing is obedience so if you and i are not faithful if you and i are not obedient to god who gave us this responsibility in the first place then we cannot expect him to bless us because God do not reward disobedience. He does not. And so, when God set man in responsible places, when God set us in position to perform His will, we should not use this position to accomplish our own will, but His will instead. And so, remember, as leaders, that God expect us to be pure to his principle of government, not the world or our own. And so I pray that we will really take heed to this and that we will really apply it to our own lives, especially those of us who are placed in position of leadership, whether be it inside the church or outside. Remember to stand up for what is right no matter what others may say. You are accountable to God and not to man. Amen. So may God bless you and may God keep you throughout the day as we continue to look to him for wisdom. Amen.